Okay guys and gals, are you ready to get our SKS rifle assembled? So our primary goal for this video is we're going to take our receiver and barrel assembly and we're going to get it positioned into our stock. All right, that's all uh, our goal is for this video. So the first thing we need to do, we need to position the bayonet out of the way. So this rifle, it, uh, it came equipped with the spike bayonet. Very nice, okay. Uh, the spike bayonet, also best known as the pig sticker, very effective, especially if you know where to stick the pig and you know how to stick the pig. There were two different types of bayonets. You had the knife bayonet and the spike bayonet. If I had to choose between a spike and a knife, I would take the spike every time. Why? I'll tell you why. Now, I don't want to offend anybody, but it's just my personal opinion. When I grew up, my grandfather, he gave us kids bayonets, right? They were our toys. You know what? Uh, the bayonet was a terrible tool, in my opinion. You know, I always heard these stories of the soldiers that use them around camp. You know what? In my opinion, horrible tools. I'm not saying if it was the only tool in the world you had, it wouldn't work. I'm just saying, you know, for a tool, pretty poor, right? The older I got, you know, talking to all the old soldiers and stuff that knew about those days, soldiers would tell you, you know, those old knife bayonets, they were dull. No one wanted to use those around camp, right? You wanted to use other tools, right? So now the question is, would you take a spike or a knife? I would take the spike. Why? Why? Well, you know, people don't necessarily die from being cut, being sliced. A real killer is when you become impaled. It's fast. First off, knowing where, the vitals. Second off, knowing how. Into the vitals, twist and pull. It's done. It's done. Why? You have three cutting edges, right? So you impale, twist, exit. Done. It's just that quick. There's no messing around about it. With the length of this rifle and the extension of an arm, a soldier actually has a very effective tool. To the point that if a person was impelled by someone that knew where to put it and how to use it while they were standing in the emergency room of a hospital, They'd never make it. They could never save their life. Very effective. You you really can't always say that about that knife. You just can't. So we're going to go ahead now just to show you how uh, this works. You're going to just uh, pull rearward like that. And uh, we'll just, just push it uh, forward like that. So now what we're going to do, we're going to bring the receiver and barrel up on the sights just gently like that. Uh, locate your stock ferrule. Now, position on the stock ferrule like that. And now just gently, just gently, don't force it, just snap the stock into position on the receiver. So now we need to do something with our pig sticker, right? Because you're nowhere near an emergency room and that wouldn't help you anyway. So you know what? Just do that, right? And make sure, make sure you don't slide down it like that. Just, you know, Learn to finesse it, right? Hey, and then that way, if you ever have to use this on a pig, you just finesse it on the pig, right? Just that quick, right? So, guys and gals, that's the end of this video. God bless. We'll see you on the next.